These videos are educational in nature and are designed to help people over 21 who smoke cigarettes switch to a less harmful alternative. Mm, all right, what's up everybody? Grim Green back here today. I'm going to be starting my review for the Air Egg. This comes from Air Scream out of the UK. I reviewed the Air Scream Airs Pops Pro maybe about a year ago. I really, really enjoyed it. I have a little bit of high hopes for this Air Egg, the unfortunately named Air Egg. It's a pod, so I'm very confident we can just get this set up right now. Oh, they're spare buttons. You get spare buttons. I got a pre-installed one ohm mesh coil head. It's just press fit into the bottom of the pod. There is a flat side and a round side. Flat side, round side, and it's actually pretty clearly marked pod on the bottom. The air egg itself, I guess it's a little bit eggy shaped. It looks to be Ultem on top. Pod just drops in. It's held in by magnets. It feels mostly secure. It's a little easy to pop that pod out. I feel like I could flick liquid out of this and just eject it across the room. Silicone fill hole on the side. I'm just gonna hold it sideways. Blah, fill this up. Literally zero bubble dancing going on and that's a good thing. I think I'm gonna keep the yellow button, but they are just magnets. There's two little prongs and a magnet in the middle. They can just pop on, pop off, Air Pops Pro. No, this isn't the Air Pops Pro. This is the Air Egg. I feel like they just called it an air egg because the outside is white and the inside is yellow. Otherwise, it doesn't really resemble an egg. Man, I'm really crossing my fingers there's an auto switch on this. I don't want to fire that button every single time. Ah, oh, and I got a yellow lanyard if I wanted to use a lanyard with it, which I don't. But wait, there's more. I did also receive a sort of silicone skin. It's a clear silicone skin pouch. And if I want to use that lanyard, then I do have to use the silicone pouch because the lanyard attaches to the silicone pouch. It feels like my first iPod. Hey, all right, there we go. Let's vape this. Five little clicks on, cross your fingers. Let's hope for an auto switch. First impressions, the draw really very hyper tight. The flavor really very good. The crackle from the coil completely non-existent. And that is, hmm, there's a certain level of satisfaction I derive from a crackly coil. This is the most non-crackly coil I've, I've ever used. Mm, 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 mm. I mean, it's enjoyable. The flavor's real good. Can I fire it with this fire button? Oh no. That's not a fire button. That's just an on off button that doesn't need to exist because it only has an auto switch. Why would you need to turn it off? Here's the thing, right out of the gate, I'm super not loving the way this vapes. The draw is delightful. The flavor is delightful, but the vape experience lacking. Yeah, I mean, this is gonna come down to just a, a purely subjective thing because objectively the flavor is good and it vapes nice. I just don't like the way it vapes. All right, I'm gonna reserve my judgment for much later. This is a pod review, so today is day one. I'm gonna put this thing through its paces. I'll probably catch up with you in about a week. Uh, well, the good news is it's been about three weeks and the good news is I, I finally figured this out, figured out the air egg. The reason that it has an on off button is because this is a UK product and I, and I had to, go back through my memory banks, my mental Rolodex to think back to the Airs Pops Pro, but it did the same thing. I don't know if it's like a UK product safety standard or something like that, but this device, like the Airs Pops Pro, turns itself off after a certain amount of time, which is why you need the one, two, three, four, five on button. Because almost every time I go to grab this and vape it, it's off. But one, two, three, four, five, you're gonna get a little light, it's gonna turn on, now it's gonna vape. I honestly have no complaints about the size of it, the form factor of it. It's a cool, weird little, you know, cocoa-y hand feel type of thing. It's a little half square. We're, we're, we're not unfamiliar with these, so it's got a nice little hand feel to it. The auto draw, quick, just fires every single time, no issues there. The coil heads themselves, ah, okay, here's, we get in, here's where we get into interesting territory because they vape great and the flavor is good, but there's a weird feeling to them. It feels, I'm gonna say it, 
It feels spongy, not just spongy, but like really very extra spongy. I get zero crackle from this. It's like a silent, like sort of sound. I'm doing sound effects now. Good flavor, good airflow. These coil heads just feel like they're about to go dry. This is something that happens just very randomly in pods, and I'm not sure why it started happening with the Air Pops Pro towards the end of its life. And I don't know what's going on there. There seems to be a little bit of like a balancing act between, well, you wanna have really good wicking where you're kind of flicking liquid out of the tip, or do we wanna stiffen that wicking up so it'll still vape, but you're not gonna have any liquid out of the tip. They need to strike a little bit better of a balance, I think. The upside to it always feeling like it's a little bit dry is that I literally have never flicked liquid out of the tip of this. And that is probably a first for a pod. That toot felt a little dry, felt saturated, but at the same time, it also felt a little bit dry. And maybe that's just a mental thing with me. It keeps going, it keeps vaping with really good flavor and I'm confident in taking really long drags, but there's just something about this feeling that feels like it's about to go dry and I, it's something I don't enjoy. Just straight up don't enjoy that. It's not terrible, but it is gonna land in like that. Uh, I'm gonna give it like six banana stickers and I think that's being a little bit generous as well. This does have the ability to help someone who smokes cigarettes maybe transition over into vaping, so I'm not gonna destroy it because it does vape and it is pleasurable and enjoyable and all the things, good flavor and the such as, but man, that sensation of Feeling like it's going dry, but never going dry is something that annoys me. And honestly, maybe they've accomplished something here with really silent coils, but it's not something I enjoy. It's basically hands-free, except I've noticed if I go like this, I can just pop the pod right out in my mouth. I, I don't want to start rambling, so at the end of the day, I'm going to say that the air egg is simply... Fine. I won't do any vape budget hands. I won't do any aliens game because I'm scared of YouTube. But I will say this, if you're a person right now that smokes combustible cigarettes, <laughs> stop. Maybe you don't need to anymore. It's 2023, better living through science, better living through technology. There is a world of safer nicotine products out on the market for you. In the description of this video, I'm gonna put links to just science and just education. This has been a Grim Green video. Let's stay smoke free, you know, Every single day. <coughs> it's like 10.30 and I'm uh, just gonna smoke, so.